hi welcome to my video um, today we're looking at zoom notes how to save to favorites and I think going forward it is the best thing that you can do if you use certain colors or whatever frequently if you're highlighting etc I find it really really helpful so what we're going to do is look at this little button the one with the red circle around it we're going to be looking at that and this is called the saved settings and from here you get this little pop-up bar and that shares with you all your favorites how do we get them onto that little bar so i'm going to show you today here we go my favorite nib to use my favorite style to use is this particular one here it's called the gel pen um the gel pen is my most favorite and uh, in my favorites if I have a little look you'll see I've got a gel pen here which is like a blue color I've got a gel pen that is red I have a gel pen that is blue bright blue and they're my favorite pens so I'm going to share with you how I saved them to that saved button okay and if we change the pen let's go I've got highlighters let's do a saved um, this one here which is like calligraphy pen um, I think it's called a fountain pen. If you tap and hold, your tools bar comes up and the titles of them um, is underneath. And this one is called the italic pen. So let's do an italic saved pen. Tap on italic. At the moment, it's defaulted to black, but you can change your default colour. So these colours here are the subtle colours. I'm going to go to the subtle, that one there. I think that's, um, what's that one called? That one is Highland Heather then we can customize it by changing the thickness uh, opacity the angle and we can do various things soft solid it's entirely up to you but for today's purposes i'm just going to leave it as is but have a little play and see how you get on now to save it to the save button you need to tap on that saved um, button at the top right hand side where it says saved and if you tap on it all my saved ones come up and to save this particular one, you tap the plus. So, and then if you scroll up, there it is. It always defaults and puts it to the bottom, but you can move it to wherever you want it to go. So by moving it, you tap on the manage and the three little gray um, lines, tap and hold and move it to wherever you want in order. And I'm going to put it under the blue one there and press done. Now, even though the nib's not changing, that's my default nib. Um, if I go to the saved toolbar now, if I go to that saved button, it looks like um, a pile of money, doesn't it, with a little pen. Uh, the pen tells me this is my uh, pen choices. And I go down, there it is, my favourite. So tap on that one, close that, go to January, and I'll write something in. Okay, all right. Uh, visit the uh, vets I don't have a pet but that's all I can come up with now obviously I haven't typed that very neatly you can do better but have a little play and see how you feel now let's just have a little look at these so if we have a little look at this which is the nib um, depth or the nib uh, width and the color that you want and also the opacity so if I go to my favorites I click on my favorite gel pen it defaults to my settings that I've set but I can make the nib thinner or I can make the gel fatter I can change the color by tapping on that color there we go I can change the opacity by sliding the bar and then I end up with something that looks a bit rosy pink and quite fat. There we are. So it's quite versatile. You can adapt it using these three buttons here. So exactly the same with highlighter. Tap on it. Um, choose your style. Choose your colour. Let's go for, what's that one? That one is Mint Macaron then customize it do whatever it is you want to do go to the save to tap on save tap on plus scroll up manage it put it into position there we are press done and we're ready to go and that will be in your saves there it is so if i do yellow first then go to my saved 
There's the mint macaron. There it is. Ta da! How nifty is that? And you can do the same with stickers. You can do the same with. Here we go. Look. So you can. Oops. Ignore that. So you can do the same with your sticker icon. You can do the same with your polygon, your fill, even your table. Uh, just be aware that every single time you change. So let's say I want to change my text. I want to do a saved text. Can you see on the button, on the actual icon button there, that, um, sorry, it's because I'm using my pen, it's defaulted again. If I tap on text, it changes to text. So it tells me that I currently have my text saved. So there's all my saved for text. So if we quickly go into there, um, pick up a font that you like. I get all my fonts from iFont, just download them, good to go. Just be aware that if you mirror the Zoom notes onto your iPhone as well as your iPad, you need to download the fonts onto your iPhone as well as your iPad because when you try to use the fonts on your iPhone, they default to this horrible, thick, nasty thing. So be aware that if you want to use the same font on your iPhone, you need to download it. So I'm going to go for standard color. Let's go to the standard palette, make it blue. Go back, so we've got a nice blue there. I'm happy with that. Go to saved, press the plus, manage it, move it to wherever you want it to be. In this case, I'll take it to the top, press done, and you're good to go. So go to your list, and there it is at the top. And if I press text, I can practice. The red button changes the size of your text box, and the blue button moves your text. Now tap onto the lasso tool or the selection tool in uh, Zoom Notes. By pressing the red and holding you can size your text and by pressing the little turquoise at the top you can swivel your text. So a nifty little tool there. And that is how you save to favourites. I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, feel free to ask any questions. I'm quite happy to help any way I can or do videos that you feel that you would like. Thanks for watching and look forward to the next one. Bye!